How did I get from this to this? Well, Nu pot să zici că o sursă financiară nu-ți aduce un confort și o stabilitate psihică și emoțională. Stabilitatea psihică e o chestie efemeră, e ceva care nu durează. Și am văzut de-a lungul anilor, în diferit care a fost situația, nu e ceva care durează. Nu te oferă liniște pe mult, pe mult timp, mereu mai avea ceva, orice ar fi. Caută ceva să fie, să nu meargă și gâțește. Pentru că caută și găsește. Merg într bine într-o parte, e și provocat în altă parte. Dar așa evoluăm pulele. Poți să o gură. Don't be vulnerable, you'll be judged, you act and look so ugly, you victimize yourself for you just shut up, you talk so bad, you are not enough, nobody cares. Here I am, again. This vlog was supposed to be a happy one, according to my mental expectation. No me like when it happens like this, in a state of repeat, 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 repeat. And if not, I would make it seem happy. Cutting out all the moments when I felt vulnerable, well, it's time to open up. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. As we get close to Vulcan, And we get close to the mountains. I already can see snow on the ground, and it's exciting. <laughs> Look, amazing! Yeah, I feel a little bit better. I will talk to you later because I don't feel like right now to tell you why I was crying. <laughs> um, yeah. Shit happens and sometimes or many times I get in my head and I only see negativity and uh, I don't see the light at the end of the tunnel and yeah, I get in uh, that negative mood space and yeah, I felt like crying but yeah, talk to you later about that because for sure right now you can hear the car noise and it's not so great <laughs> We are baby. Boom! Yeah, oh, but the plane. We were talking about. Ah, oh, the plane. <laughs> Why it's a slang in Romanian for saying you, but in a um, rude way, you know, or rough way. No, no, no.
you here with Gandalf. We will not go anywhere. We are in the parking lot at Lidl. I mean, Octavian is already inside right now because he's checking if uh, there is something to, to buy for our nieces. We didn't have time in Timisara to buy presents for them and yeah. Octavian comes back. So, oops. No, no nothing. Okay. Should we go to Kaufland? Let's go to Kaufland. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. A weaving loom. Milk and hazelnut. Maybe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 Gondola. And oh my gosh, it's winter in full mode here. We got stuck. Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, I'm into the snow. It's up to my knees. <sighs> we got stuck into a beach. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. <laughs> Să îl sune pe Ciprian să vină cu Sania. Ții mă dulcete! Da, loc nou. New place. Right, baby? You are getting adjusted. As far as you saw, we arrived <sighs> after two hours because we had to walk uphill. So yeah, let me show you how it looks outside because as you can see, it's so cold. and it's really cozy and 
worm inside the cottage. As you saw, we got stuck with a car in a ditch and in total we lost two hours with trying to unstuck the car. We failed. Some people helped us that passed by us that were with their car but uh, we couldn't manage to to get the car back on the road from the ditch and yeah we we had to walk from the car to the cottage hmm, i think it's up there octavian couldn't find his phone so yeah uh, so he found this with the help of my phone we ate some sweet bread with a walnut I think it's called in English but in Romania we call it kozonak and also we ate uh, some soup, soup with meatballs mom's soup, soup yeah um, a soup with meatballs and yeah it, it was really delicious in Romania we call it ciorba de perisoare Chorba is soup and perishar are the balls, uh, meatballs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, meatballs. meatballs. <laughs> our, our bellies are full with food, and finally, we are cozy inside the cottage. Outside is really cold, and we have lots and lots of snow, and it it's still snowing outside and I mean it's amazing to to see the contrast between uh, Timisoara and Vulcan or Pasul Vulcan, we are in Pasul Vulcan but anyway it's like we are in Vulcan and yeah it's it's really interesting to see the contrast between these two worlds that are in Romania but different temperature <laughs> Uh, ah, what I forgot to tell you guys uh, when we walked from the car to the cottage it was not so dark outside like you imagine yes we were on the road on the woods on the serpentine road but I really could see my surroundings and uh, I could see some shapes in the woods and at the point uh, I uh, saw a trunk tree with um, snow that looked like a nun, you know, from that horror movie. But anyway, uh, that's not what I wanted to say. When we walked uh, on the road, it wasn't only me and Octavian. We had also Gandalf with us. He was in our backpack. That carrier Gandalf was carried by Octavian. I was carrying my laptop and my gear because it was really heavily snowing outside. We had to cover him with Octavian's blouse. He was perceptive and very curious about his surroundings. Gandalf, for sure. I mean Gandalf. At some point, I really got frustrated and irritated by the situation. Octavian would like to say that it wasn't me that I was nervous. It was my ego. I'm gonna ask you something now. Okay. Do you feel anything? During the road? No. Why? Why I didn't film anything during the road? Truly. Truly. Because my hands were frozen and because I was so negative and I didn't feel like to bring the camera in front of my face with that negative space that I was into, you know. I was thinking to... Ah, and also because outside, yeah, we could see our surroundings. It wasn't that dark, but the camera couldn't catch what our eyes could catch. You could have shown glimpses. But don't have any. I yeah. have glimpses with the car when we tried to yeah, okay. unstuck the car from the ditch. What I wanna point is when you're overcome by even emotions, you don't your part there to grasp the opportunity 
that it presents yourself. And the important thing is not to make yourself feel bad about it, but to in a sense to give you a, a push and make you understand how much you're actually missing because of the ego, because of unconsciousness. Yeah, but you treat ego like it's a parasite inside us, in our heads, that controls us. But you weren't there, baby. You weren't there. There was only the anger. You weren't there. Yeah, I was very angry and frustrated. You are not there. There was only the angry you. And the angry you is a different energy vibration that only blames the surrounding for how it feels. Yeah, but it's not the first time when I feel that angriness, if okay. it's correct to say it. Okay. It's not the first time when I'm feeling angry. It also was and completed yeah. by how I was feeling earlier about our situation that made me cry. Another? Yeah, another, another story. Side, another side of the unconsciousness. Another part of the ego. Do you see how much it steals? Do you see? Treating the situation like there's two of you helps you start detaching at first. No, no. To the happy channel. Yeah, interesting conversation that you listened to. Anyways, today you caught some glimpses of my frustrations and how I am when I'm not feeling vibrant, happy and all the way good with my life and that was the case today Octavian is saying that that's not me when I'm in a negative headspace it's my ego that brings me in that headspace and it's like a parasite and I start to believe those thoughts that I have in my head and when I'm doing that, I'm giving the permission to the ego to control me, to daydream, but more like not a dream, more like a nightmare, you know, to detach from the presence. And yeah, that's what Octavian is trying to say. Today I was in that headspace. I don't know if I want to say the situation. I mean, I have some thoughts that you don't have to be vulnerable in front of the camera because maybe someone will judge you and I want to be accepted. That's the thoughts that I have, you know? Okay, I will say it. But I don't know for sure if this will be cut out or it will be included in the vlog. In this period of time, we don't... <laughs> Gandalf is hearing Octavian outside, he's talking with his mom and he's scratching the door, you know, the signal that he wants outside because, yeah, he can hear his dad outside. Hey, do the chat. You know, actually. No, Dao Kreko is my mother, great. Gandalf is feeling sick. He almost threw up. Almost, but he did not. Yui! Yui! Can you do it, Jay? Maybe now he wants to eat because he did enough. Yeah. We couldn't bring all the 
okay. bags. We couldn't bring all the bags that we um, had with us and some of them are still in the car and yeah we, we forgot his food and we had to improvise and we gave him some meatballs and also some pate and he still didn't eat the food but yeah hopefully he will <sighs> okay guys i will explain you briefly why i was crying and i was feeling like shit today so i was in a negative mental space because we have an unstable source of income or <laughs> octavian <laughs> or like octavian would like to say we don't have a source of income but we still have but we have a little bit of an issue with that it's not an issue, it's not an issue. maybe it's, I mean it's a challenge yeah it's a challenge and I don't want to get into detail to explain you because it's more like personal and it involves some people and I don't want to throw anyone under the bus. <laughs> Too much cream. Too much cream? <laughs> what? You put so much cream to not get sunburn? <laughs> that was the challenge that I encountered. You know, in this period of time, when Christmas approaches, you have to buy gifts, you have to... Well, but, yeah, expectation. Or you have your needs or you need to pay the bills and other things. The bills can pay themselves. <laughs> <laughs> can buy themselves. Anyways, <laughs> it's not a challenge that can't be resolved, you know. It's a temporary thing. That's why I was feeling like shit today i mean i was really happy and in a happy headspace and good vibes when i was decorating the christmas tree but when octavian got home and he still did not bring the money that <laughs> he had to bring this brought the money <laughs> i started to feel very negative and to be in a low vibration anyway like i said it's nothing personal it's nothing that can be resolved and yeah right now i am good i'm not in that mental space and everything is fine but what i really wanted to show you or i wanted to tell you guys that uh, in this life nothing is too perfect or too permanent so yeah that's how life works it will be boring if anything will be permanent this is the bit of life to dance up and down up and down never get bored yeah but sometimes i feel like i want my life to be boring you know but it can be but often to be peaceful. Peace doesn't depend on external factors. Okay. It emanates from within. We are here to bring peace to the world. Yep. It's easier said than done. And that's the very big mistake everyone believes in. You don't have to do anything to bring peace in this world. Because you don't do it. It emanates from within. You just gotta be open. You just gotta stop pretending and identifying to be something. Because okay. that something covers, covers the portal. You are the portal, I am a portal. Covers the portal through which peace and love emanate. We identify with something. And that something covers our true nature. It doesn't let peace and love shine through us because it shines through us. You don't have to do it. It's not something you do it. 
All of us, we have an identity. An identity created by our parents, by our environment, where we were born. It's nobody's fault what identity we attach to. Yes. Just All of us, we have an identity and most of us, we don't see through that identity. We think that identity is us and that's the sad part. Anyway, yeah, the battery is the, slowly dying. You, Hurry up you're the with the wise words. Yeah, you think you're the prison in which you are trapped. The prison you yourself built. And you think you are the prison. <sighs> I mean, all of us are conditioned by something. Oh, yeah. All of us. Yeah, it's okay, no it's not a problem, it's, it is what it is. We have many colors. It's a word you can see through, his true colors. But you only need to see through yours. Isn't it the ego what it's meant by seeing his or her true colors? It depends, it can also be empathy, but it depends. Anyways, we are getting very deep with this conversation, but for sure... We are not ready for it. Maybe. I'm not for ready for it, but I'm <laughs> starting to understand. But also my camera is not ready because the battery is slowly dying. You see that red dot up there? <laughs> I will close this day here. Maybe it will be a vlog or maybe... I don't know. We will see. See you guys the next day or see you guys another time. And also Gandalf fishes you a very sweet <laughs> And also Gandalf fishes you a good night. <laughs> and what? Okay, blah blah anyway. <laughs> Papa Nimix. He's such a sweetheart, he didn't eat anything. He still has his food there. Yeah, and his tough water. <laughs> Ooh, tough water. That's how it is to have a Romanian mother. She keeps everything every container, also top containers. <laughs>